Hey guys, okay, so we are doing one of our most popular for certain hands down uh, segments. It is also kind of a challenging one for me because a lot of times I love it and a lot of times I hate it, but I always love doing it because you guys interact with it so much. It is of course our Ipsy versus Ipsy. We've gotten so many people to have joined our channel here because of our unboxings of both BoxyCharm and Ipsy, but Ipsy has been incredibly frustrating recently. Um, if you haven't watched, we did upload the plus Ipsy versus Ipsy about a week ago and um, it seems like pretty much everybody agrees, but I was really disappointed with mine. Um, my mom and I got the same exact box, which was kind of um, sad. There was like zero variation between the two and we have totally different profiles and stuff. Just a lot of stuff going on with Ipsy, but our regular glam bags did arrive today. I am so excited. Um, if you haven't watched our Ipsy versus Ipsy before, welcome, we're glad you're here. Basically what happens is my mother has an Ipsy subscription. I have an Ipsy subscription. We both do the regular glam bags and the pluses. Each month I take our two and I compare what we got. I decide which one I like better as a whole. And then I combine the 10 products that we have gotten. I pick out my five favorite from both bags and create what the ideal bag based on those 10 products would be. So that being said, I rambled enough. I don't check spoilers, so I don't know what I'm getting. My mom does check spoilers and she'll sometimes kind of hint uh, like, oh, I think I'm gonna like this one or I'm not really happy with, with this one. She did say she liked her bag. So that gives me some hope that I'll like my bag as well. So without any further ado, let's look at these bad boys. I do remember the theme was like, take a break, I think. That's, that sounds right. The little bags look like this. Um, I liked the little bag and they're like, I mentioned in the other one, it's that kind of like plasticky material that can get wet. So, you can bring it to the pool and you can do stuff. It's very summery. I was a fan of it. Um, I like the little little keychain thing as, a, as an airplane. I mentioned that it reminded me of, I think I said Miami Vice, but then Nikki made like a cool like Magnum PI like little thing. So it reminds me of an 80s TV show that takes place on some sort of a tropical location. But yeah, so take a break throwing things already. Haven't even looked at the products yet. Go team. Take a break. That's our, that's our thing. All right, this is mom's bag. Okay, so the first thing that we got in here is something I don't know if she's gonna use, but personally, I love it. It's a banana setting powder. It is from, I don't know the brand. It looks like a B and a P together, but it's huge. It's, I mean, like it's giant. It's a really big sized one. I, you definitely can get a good amount of uses out of that. And like I said, I personally like uh, banana setting powders. I think they do a good job of neutralizing my skin. So uh, that's a good product for me. I'm not sure she's ever used one. So I'm not actually sure based on looking at her, like her spoilers, if she actually knew exactly what it was. I like it. I think that's a good product. I can't get this one out of the packaging. Okay, this one's from Space Case. I like Space Case a lot. I'll show you before I open the box. Space Case. Um, I've gotten, I think, three different highlighters from them through Ipsy and I enjoy all of them uh, quite a bit. They do a really good job of like making these really nice, very dimensional shimmer shades. And oh yeah, so this looks like an eyeshadow. It is really pretty, very neutral, but it's something my mom definitely will love. Very summery, got that like sun kiss look, like if, especially if you're trying to do like a no makeup makeup look, that's a pretty one. And once again, great size. So we've got two really good size products here. So then in here we've got, I, I just redirected because this was not in the bag and I thought we were missing one. So these are Sakura Peeling Radiance Pads and I'm not sure what they do. They're brightening and smoothing skin texture for all skin types. You get 10 of them in there. I'm guessing it's Japanese, that is a, just a guess. Um, there's a lot uh, that is written in either Japanese or it's definitely in a language that I cannot read. But I'm trying to see if it tells you how to use it. Oh yes, yes, it's like, like very tinily in the middle. It says white pad across face, neck. So it, yeah, it looks like it's, I don't know what it is because it's calling it a peeling pad. So it makes it sound like it's some sort of, like I just bought like a face cleanser that you like peel. It's like a skin peel from the ordinary and you leave it on your skin for 10 minutes and then you wash it off. But it doesn't seem to say that. So I'm, it looks like it's just like after you clean your face, you just wipe it on there and it just goes in and it makes your skin bright, brighter and smoother. Interesting. Um, I would say I'm kind of interested in them. It sounds like a really, unique product. I think it'd be a fun one to do in like a skincare video. Definitely want to test it out. I don't think my mom's really going to care about it because she just really is not into this kind of like skincare stuff. So like she's into skincare, but she's just very specific about it. I just don't think that's something that she's going to be like, yes, let's do that. I mean, not a Brad product and you get 10 pads and it's a really good size. So I'm interested in it. This is where she'll probably be like, I don't really like this. So she also got a 
pore tightening pearl clay mask. Good size, but she, like I said, she's not into really masks and she's really not into like that kind of skincare. She's more into like very like high end creams and stuff like that. So, and very particular about the ones that she uses. So I feel like she's gonna be like, well, I'm not really thrilled about those. But in my opinion, these two right here have paid for it already, so. It's not a bad bag. It's just two things I don't think she's really gonna care about. Um, the next thing, the last thing in her bag, it looks like, a, yep, it is a Lip Lift Max. It is a glossy lip maximizer. So it looks like it's one of those plumping lip glosses. And it really just goes with that summery vibe that we have with the eyeshadow. They match so well. I'm gonna take off this. And I really come back to, this is a very nice summer bag. As disappointed as I was with the Plus, I really like this. I think they gave you a good variety of stuff. Even the two, the mask and the cleansing pads, they're different products. So even though they're both skincare, they're totally different. You got a really pretty summery eyeshadow, a really pretty summery lip gloss, and you got this banana setting powder. I think it stays on um, par with what the month is in the middle of summer. And I think it gives you a good variety. So I like her bag a lot. Um, I'm hoping mine is as good as hers is. Uh, but like I said, I don't know. So let, let's look at my bag now. All right my turn. So I've got the same cute little bag, I believe. Yeah, so I did get the same pads. I'm actually excited. I wanna know what they do. I'm so interested in this. Um, I was I literally, I'm sitting here reading it like for five minutes on camera. Like I still don't fully understand what they're doing. I'm just very interested to test these out. These may be ones that like tomorrow after I get home from work and shower, I, I open them just to see like what's going on up in here. But I, I really am very excited to try it. So the next thing I got, I am thrilled about this. I, my mom for like all of 2019 complained because she would get brushes all the time and she was like, I just feel like I get so many brushes. I personally love getting brushes, especially eyeshadow brushes because I was very particular before I started getting these subscription services about which ones I would use and then getting all the different ones in these bags, I've realized that they're some of my favorites that I own. So I have a big blending brush that is, I don't know what the brand is. I have no idea, I would have to look. I cannot read this. I don't know what the brand is. I'll have to look on my spoilers. It's the same brand of one, I, either one or two that I've got in the past. And the, the I know the one is my favorite blending brush. So this is more of a tapered blending brush. Um, it would be more for like, I would use it probably for doing like, like this kind of outer corner shade. I'm so excited about this. This is like, to me, this makes the bag worthwhile because I, I love these brushes so much. So I'm excited about that. That was definitely a win for me. Plus I didn't even talk about the cute little handle, the glitter, and it kind of fits in with that summery vibe, the colors. The other one I got was like blue and pink and this one's like gold and, and silver and pink. So I like that a lot. All right. Oh, I don't remember which one my mom chose. I should, I should know that, but I don't know. Okay, interesting. So the next thing that I have is the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Lip Oil. I actually got the hydrating primer in my plus and I'm excited about the hydrating primer. The issue is we also got another moisturizing primer and then a hydrating serum. So that was kind of why I was not happy with the plus because I felt like it was a lot of products that were very repetitive of each other. But I, I don't like synthetic watermelon, but if it smells anything, actually, why, why don't I just take it off and sniff it? Yeah, it's very mild. I, I mean, it's... <laughs> I just don't like watermelon scented things, but it's very mild. It's not really pungent. Um, the moisturizer didn't bother me or the primer didn't bother me when I use that. So yeah, not my favorite thing. I wouldn't have picked it for myself, but I definitely think that it is uh, probably a decent product, especially during the summer when um, I will 100% get sunburned at some point and my lips will start to peel because they always do when I get sunburned on my face. So yeah, okay. I think this is a lipstick, but it's like super packaged. It like looks like it's been wrapped in some sort of spider web. Do you see how like it's all discolored? Like, do you see that? I want to open it, but I also want you to get like camera shots of it wrapped up, but I'm just going to go for it. Oh, it's a whole different color. Oh, wow. Wow, it's like magic. Oh. Okay, so really pretty red color, a decent size too. It's funny because this is definitely something that I would like more in my bag than if it had come in my mom's bag, she'd have been like, what the hell? Cause she just doesn't wear red lipstick. And I don't normally wear red lipstick, but I do like bright lipsticks and I definitely like having a variety of them. And honestly, with it being July and, and you know, a lot of people celebrating the 4th of July, I kind of understand why they would include a red shade like this. I think it is very much like a, oh, I'm going to like a cookout. Like not that we went anywhere cause we, we haven't gone anywhere in months, but you know, we, you know, normally would, would think about that kind of stuff. And I like this, I think it's a good product. Yeah, I've not heard of the brand. It's beautiful. Oh no, I have heard of the brand. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. 
if you're still with me, then God love you. Um, it's Beauty For Real. I have heard of them, but I don't think I've used them that often. That's probably what I should say. Uh, I haven't used a lot of their products. Yeah, I like it. It's a lip cream. It looks like it's gonna be a pretty color. I wanna try that out. The last thing is something I'm thrilled about. I picked it for myself. It's from Koki Professional. It is a crystal fusion liquid eyeshadow. These bad boys, liquid eyeshadows with the shimmer shades in it, they're my, they're my ish, man. I love them. It took me a long time to start using them. And I mean, like I was, I think I started really getting into them like maybe a year ago because of a Ciate London one that I got in my BoxyCharm. I now buy lots of them. I have all different shades. When I saw this was an option, I was like, that's them. That's the one I want. Cause I really don't have this shade. It's like a really pretty golden, but a light golden, like a champagne golden. I have like a really gold one from Smashbox and I want to test this. I want to see, <gasps> it's beautiful. Beautiful, look at it, can you see that? Hopefully like you guys can catch at least some of the reflectiveness. But why I really love these is it gives you such a great base. In fact, I used my Ciate London one today right here. It gives you a base of glitter and then you can stack glitter on top of it if you want to. Most of the time you don't need to. I actually did today just because the palette I was using had a really pretty glitter shade that I wanted to include in it as well, but it just makes it so much easier to build glitters with glitter liquid eyeshadows. So I, I love it. I'm so excited about this product. I would say alone for this bag, this these two, well worth it for me. I like everything else that I got though. So yeah, pretty good month. It's funny because I'm struggling so much to decide what to do with the plus and everything. I'm waiting to see what the announcement on the 20th is. We've talked about if they're gonna really change the plus and like take away some stuff. Would we go up to the ultimate um, because you get more stuff? I don't, I don't know. I haven't decided what to do. I really enjoy doing these videos and I, I still do like Ipsy. I just struggle so much because they seem to be consistently disappointing with the pluses. And I know a lot of people have issues with the ultimate as well, so I don't know if it's worth bumping up to. That's just all on my brain right now. Stuff that I've been thinking about, not pertinent to today's video. We'll be releasing a video on the 20th after the email comes out and we can discuss that all then. But let's get into the meat of this. Let's figure out which bag as a collective was better. I don't know. I was gonna say I really liked my mom's, but I, Ooh, this is, this is a hard one. I think I would pick my bag. I wasn't sure after I saw the products she got, I think I would pick my bag. I like it a lot. I got a good variety of stuff. I got things that I will use. Yeah, I like, I like it a lot. Um, but now let's assemble my ideal bag. So ideal bag, I'm gonna pick definitely my brush, definitely my eyeshadow primer, or my primer, my eyeshadow glitter. So these two, so we got him, we got him. Those two, those are from my bag. I'm gonna go with, her eyeshadow, her little space cadet one, or space case. I always want to call it space cadet, space case one. Her banana powder, because that's a, such a good size. I'm gonna do it two and two, so we know. And then uh, the final product, I'm interested in these Sakura peeling radiance pads, but I think I actually would choose my red lipstick. As much as I don't normally wear red lipstick, I really like it. I'm, I'm liking this color a lot. So yeah, so three from my bag, two from her bag. It was a good month. It was a good month for the Ipsy regular bag. I think no matter what, I'm definitely gonna keep my little bag because I do love it. And then you get still access to the add-ons and stuff like that. So it's kind of hard to say that you wanna cut ties with Ipsy when they have their bad moments. But overall, I mean, I still enjoy them and I still like getting my bags. It's still exciting. I just hate that it's in inconsistent is really what I think I would I would like to say. So so yeah, good month for the July regular bag in my opinion. Um, I would love to know what you guys got in yours. I It's one of my favorite things. I, that video that we posted a week ago is doing so well. So many people have commented and said what they got in their bags, whether they liked it, whether they didn't like it. I love that. I love hearing your guys' opinions on stuff. I love hearing what you guys think about my box. I love thinking, I hearing what you guys, you know, think about your own boxes. Are you happy with Ipsy? Are you unhappy with Ipsy? Are you happy with the little bags? Are you unhappy with, you know, other things? I just love, I love communicating with you guys. I think this is one of the best uh, and easiest ways to do so. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, we would love for you to join the Dark Angel family. We, uh, we do a lot of this kind of stuff and some other stuff in there too. So um, we definitely would love to have you be along for the ride with us. Um, yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That helps us too. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, and you have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.